We're headed home. I'm going to open up uh, a GoPro 5, another one, so that we can get ready. I want to make sure that you know how to use them in case you guys start doing the same stuff. I also want to make sure that we're prepared for the February GoPro 5 Dwayne Golden Love Pack, where you, I'm going to give away a Go 5 and an accessory pack, and then a special step-by-step -step instruction uh, video instruction that I'm doing for you so you can get the most out of it and not get caught up in things that aren't relevant for you. Some of you are going to want to subscribe to my training channel where I do trainings showing you how to take uh, basic principles and apply them so that what you're doing in the 21st century, what you're doing in 2017 through 2027 or any time period is certainly sustainable so you don't want to miss that anyway. Uh, if you haven't subscribed to my video channel yet, do it. Happy New Year to all of you guys. Looking forward to an amazing year. Let's go open up this GoPro 5. I'm really excited about it. And um, because I, I rarely, I'm a very private person. It's odd for me to be sharing things, but I'm going to be sharing everything with you. So uh, let's have a great year. Okay, got my uh, other GoPro 5 getting ready for the February GoPro 5 giveaway, but I'm also gonna be doing something else that's pretty special, but let's go ahead and open this thing up and let me show you exactly how I'm using these and what you can do, of course, if you are the winner of one of my uh, YouTube subscribers. So let's take a look. They put it in a nice casing for protection and things like that. Uh, what I've been doing is I ship, get them shipped from the United States. So I've already got one. I'm filming with the one that I already picked up uh, that was delivered earlier. I'm going to uh, open it. You open them from the bottom. Typically, they put it in a nice case. You want to mount. The mount's just for display. You can open it up. And then, of course, if you're like me, you get so excited. I hate directions and all that stuff. You may not be like that, so you should go ahead and read the directions. <laughs> if you notice, there's a little red, a rubber stopper here, right? This little stopper is pretty much to secure it when it's in the mount. But all I'm gonna do is just squeeze the two ends together right here and then push the mount forward. And then it slides right out. Now, it's the GoPro 5 and it's in its housing, it's little casing. So with this casing, um, I want you to note that it's a little easy clip that you flip upward. Then, of course, once you flip, it up, flip that up, you flip open that little latch, you open the GoPro 5, then you turn it over. You don't want to touch the lens, so you just push through this little, uh, touch the other parts of the camera to get it through the little housing. Done. Now, this is a very important, this mount is what, even the camera that I'm using to film this with, it's on a mount that's on like a stick. So it's pretty cool how that works. So you want to make sure you always protect the housing and the mount. Now, the GoPro 5 is so cool in the, the way it comes, it already comes already ready for dropping in the water or filming underwater and it's sealed. So the first area that you're going to open up, it's a uh, little sliding door. Here you'll be able to access the battery and you also be able to access the SD card. So, or where to put an SD card. The door just slides to the right after you push the button down and you, then you can lift it up. Then you'll see a little, I guess a cloth that you can grab a hold of to pull the battery out. And then if you look close enough, there's a little area for a micro SD card you just stick right in there. So I recommend if you're going to be doing lots of things where you're going to do a lot of content while you're traveling, to get a 64 or 128 gigabyte uh, SD card. In the meantime, the batteries are small. They're, you can go to GoPro.com, eBay, or Amazon. You can order like four or five of these. So when, when you're running down with one, you just stick the other one in. It, it operates pretty, it's pretty easy to, to, to manage. There's another little button. This button is the power button. It's how you turn it on and turn it off. 
uh, you'll notice up top this rec this button, the red button, it's for record. If you press it real quick and turn up, open it. Which I mean, press it real quick for the starting. It'll turn. It'll start the recording. If you press and hold a little bit, it'll create that time lapse. If you ever watch any of those Mission Impossible movies where the camera speeds up really fast, or uh, perhaps um, they make it go real slow, this is where you do it at, right there in that area. <clears throat> so when it, when you get this, it comes with a little bit of a what do you call this thing? A little uh, transparent protection mode on the display. Unlike the other GoPros, you can see everything you're doing in the camera right there. So I'm gonna turn this one on. You'll be able to see what I'm talking about. Let me just go ahead and turn this puppy on. If you take a look, you're gonna be able to see me right there. See, jeez. Before I do turn it off, let's go ahead and do a couple things. It's a touch, tone, touch screen. So you get to manage the entire system with a touch screen. You notice you got ProTune. Here's where I can change the ISO for those of you guys that really know a lot about cameras. You could change the ISO and other things related to resolution. I can go and change video stabilization to make sure I don't get that one shaky feeling whenever you're, you're walking or running and or like I like to use it on my motorcycle. Then you see all the errors you can do. Now, to make it go back to the main screen, you just swipe down. Then if you want to, if you had an SD card in there, I want to look at some of the data. I would just slide my finger to the right, but it's going to tell me there's no SD card. But that's how that works. Every, it's really simple. I advise you to use the directions, but let's go ahead and finish up. I want to go ahead and let you see what's inside of the mounting box. There's more things that come with the camera. So here you have the manual. So you just put it aside. You want to make sure you always have access to this. It'll go over things written in written work for you. I've got extra mounting uh, mounting bases that I can actually post one in the dashboard of my car. I could keep one for my helmet or whatever I make my helmet for my bicycle or my bike. You get the different ones, but I went to the website and ordered a bunch of these because I like to use them with most things. Now, let's take another look. And you also have an easy to use uh, charging cable. You can just plug it right into the side of your your computer with your S S uh, USB, or you can plug it into like a, a USB charger. Uh, what I want to talk to you about is this concept of uh, using these phones. I'm going to be using them. I mean, these phones, these cameras. I'm going to be walking you through different videos every day uh, during the month of January. Uh, at the end of the month of January, I'm going to give away one of my favorite things. Uh, I'm going to bring out in a moment and show you. It's actually called a uh, uh, the LG uh, Bluetooth headset. They're important because I, one of the things I'm going to talk to you about on my blog is about how you could actually leave 2017 on purpose rather than waiting to the first of the year to do New Year's resolutions. So what I'm going to do is each of my subscribers, I'm going to have a giveaway and you'll be able to earn points towards the giveaway and I'm going to send them directly to you. The exact same process, we're going to use it to give away a GoPro 5 in February. So you don't miss it. And uh, certainly you don't want to miss some of the cool tips I'm going to give you on how to have a purposeful year and get more out of it and even if you're going to start vlogging and using these cameras. So you don't want to miss that. Give me just a moment. I'm going to come right back. These things are not that expensive. You have the ability for hours. I don't know how long, but pretty much throughout the day to, for me, I like to listen to books, right? I listen to the Bible. I listen to books. I like to go through a lot of books every year and I can do so if I've got to sit in traffic, sit in an airport, or I do a lot of walking or riding, I want to be feeding my mind because like a piano player makes their money from their fingers and they protect them, I make my income from using my head and people pay me to learn how to do things that they didn't learn how to do yet. With these cool things, you're going to be able to spruce up your year, build up your mind and understanding about things because you'll be able to listen to your music if you like, or you can listen to books, you can actually connect it so your answer, it answers the phone, it does everything with a quick, quick click of a button, you can push play, rewind, fast forward, and answer the phone. Uh, yes, it works for gaming devices if you like uh, PlayStation, things like that. The important thing is, I want to send you one and you don't want to miss that. So stay tuned, be sure to subscribe to us and um, we'll uh, actually have, in just a few days, a little button that you can actually click on to participate in the contest and at the same time earn points. This is Dwayne Golden. I love talking to you about some things that are going to make 2017 pretty special for you. So. We'll see you soon. Take care.